Ok, hello everybody, Alessia, Nicole, Firefly of Manager Cleans, and she has Momentum Yoga School. Yoga, there you have it. So <laughs> this is a take two because uh, we just spoke for like half an hour and nothing got recorded. Yes, technology and the people like me that doesn't know how to use it. <laughs> But anyway, we, we're here to learn, try, don't lose patience, don't go crazy, because if we go crazy, what can we do, Alessia? Nothing. It, it's okay to to make a mistake. It's okay, okay. to be wrong. It's okay. And, and, what, and what will help to relax someone or to find balance in the center? Well, what do you think, Nicole? Yoga. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. Well done, yoga. Yoga is a very ancient discipline and uh, which um, gave me a lot since I discovered this, this ancient practice, yes. And um, yes, I'm here to share with you all the benefits and uh, I'm really uh, happy to start uh, this journey with, uh, with everyone, with you. Because, and now uh, did you start your journey with yoga? Yeah. Why are you doing yes. it? How did you start it? Well, my journey with yoga began unexpectedly in California while pursuing my passion for dance and my discovery of yoga eventually led me to India where I had the opportunity of furthering my expertise. So today I am to impart my passion of yoga for yoga to people from all backgrounds and levels internationally and um, you know it's It's my mission. I think it's my mission to empower people to take care of themselves, especially nowadays so when we are facing this pandemic situation and uh, everyone needs help to, yeah. to recover. Yeah. And not only for the pandemic anyway, like Western way of yeah. life is stressed, yeah. is pushing. Is I see like I work with a lot of rich people in the restaurants where I work. And they don't seem much happier, like they, they, they're always pissed off, most of them not always, but um, or angry or, I don't know, arrogant or whatever. All these are signs that you're not in peace with yourself, because if you were a balanced individual, you wouldn't be so uh, yeah. it's even nasty sometimes with people that serve yeah. you or whatever. So yeah. if they okay. have this, it means even all the money in the world doesn't really give you internal peace. So... I think in the Western world, especially a lot of people that don't really know what is yoga and everything, uh, think yoga more like a gymnastic or just, I don't know, yeah. stretching or whatever. So what about right. this? Because I know it's much more, no? Yes, it is. Uh, unfortunately, in the West, um, yoga, uh, I, I'm talking, uh, I'm Italian. So uh, I've just done, for example, a class uh, last sun Saturday, yes. And that was not yoga. That was a superficial um, gymnastic class. Like standard. Uh, we did simple exercises and nothing uh, in, the, in depth. Nothing. Uh, nothing to do with yoga. For years, I've always been attracted uh, by yoga. And upon leaving America, an inside energy led me uh, to India on my own. And uh, there I learned, um, I, I learned this art and uh, I spent some time attending a yoga teacher training course. You talk um, about yoga and she comes. She likes yeah, it. Oh, so cute. And you know why she's here? Because you have to tell what yoga does. It teaches you to be in the moment, relax, right. take care of yourself. Yeah. Like a cat does. Like there you are. Yeah. <laughs> so, so... I went there because, yes, I wanted to discover more. And at the beginning, I thought, that, uh, all right, I'm going to just uh, develop my awareness of my body because as a dancer, I wanted to, you know, develop a little bit of, um, become more conscious of my uh, connection with my mind and my body in order to, to dance better, to become a better dancer. But um, in the end, I discover a word, a word which... Uh, Uh, which opened my mind completely and uh, I discover many benefits and uh, I can't wait to share with you everything.
because I think it's very uh, helpful uh, for everyone, this combination with meditation, breathing exercises, and different postures, cool down exercises. And the nice thing is that you can combine everything in a unique flow uh, in order to improve, you know, people's circulation, core strength, flexibility, but most of all for relax everyone need to relax especially in this fast-paced environment that we are yeah, living and you were mentioning breathing breathing which is interesting because a lot of um, <clears throat> uh, philosophies a lot of practices actually emphasize breathing as a healing tool so which also by the way is, is in common knowledge sometimes if someone is very agitated they say breathe slowly like inhale exhale yeah. And yeah. yoga is a lot connected to breathing, but also because it connects it, I guess, to the energy centers, to the chakras and oh, to the oh, yeah. subtle energies that we have. And tons of oh, people yeah. in the West are not used to, to understand or to... No, no, they are very skeptical about it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that's the most important mm -hmm. thing about yoga. Because, for example, I was uh, <clears throat> in the first take that we didn't record, <laughs> I was telling you, about the, for example, the example of, I think it's Alabama or Arkansas here, but I think it's Alabama, which are, is a state where they banned yoga in school for kids because they think it's some kind of brainwash or some kind of weird religion or whatever. When the people that do this law and do these stupid rules <clears throat> are fundamental Christians, like evangelical, uh, fundamental, yeah. which are <laughs> as bad as Taliban. Because they only see their belief in Christ, which is not really even the Christ I believe or I grow up to believe in as an Italian Catholic. Because they yeah. are so hateful, close minded, spiteful, so judgmental. That's why they judge yoga so harshly without even knowing it and prohibit like rules, like Taliban will do, like anybody in Al Qaeda. So, like other fundamental from this guy's Muslim will do. So, these fundamental mm -hmm. Christians are banning yoga. And I think in the schools of Alabama, because out of ignorance. And again, those the Christ they worship is not the Christ I worship, for example, or I believe in. I'm not really even Catholic, but I totally like Jesus Christ. Mm. I study so many religions. One of my favorite books is the Bhagavad Gita, which, by the um, way, yeah. is interconnected with yoga, because it's yeah. the, the Bible of Hinduism. Yeah. Yes. They, they teach you whether it is to relax, the mind and body or first spirituality or to improve the flexibility I believe in chanting the mantras. Body. All right, the mantras are very mantras important are to connect you yourself. To exactly. You can just connect. chant it sounds. Oh, yeah. sounds the vibrations, the vibrations of our voice can can um, can achieve a uh, like um, uh, kind of of uh, vibration okay you while you are meditating for example the technique om okay your voice the vibration uh, the sound vibration uh, match with the cosmo vibration yeah. so but also I that's also that... <coughs> for us western why some songs or some voices even the Ave Maria, for example, like singing, singing in, in temple with, a, like, for example, a church makes you cry or touches you somewhere inside your heart chakra and makes some, some, even some oh, regular songs like yeah. from pop star. S some people cry to some songs, some people cry to other. The um, all this sound is a healing sound, and that's why a complete yoga practice puts together the breathing and the chanting and everything. But chanting, what I learned. From by the way, Amma, Amma the Hugging Saints, which is yeah. uh, which I love, yeah. and I, I had the, the yeah. luck to hug at least three, four years in a row. Last year due to COVID, no. I hope this year they come in New York. Uh, any, any, she sings like there's a hundred eight or more names of God, which also in the mm. uh, Jewish, in the Hebrew. Um, yeah. religion, philosophy, there's tons of uh, God names. So you just have mm -hmm. to chant something of the light. It can be exactly, even Jesus, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. It cleans the vibration and the energy around you. This is not crazy talk. It's like saying that yoga is not healing. It, it, it's, it's a different kind of knowledge that many people don't know or don't, don't accept, but that exists. And it's uh, 
oh god and it's a, sorry it's a message that i'm trying to put it away and um it exists so even the people that say oh no, yoga is just gymnastic again it comes out from an ignorance like if you yeah. don't know you mm. cannot judge because you know yeah it's like you if don't you don't know about know. sounds therapy or all the sounds that maybe study a little bit more physics or quantum physics stuff mm -hmm. like that yeah yoga, it's a deep thousand of year knowledge it's, i don't think people do course. things wrong for thousand of years mm. i think um you know um, um getting back in the west i like to promote the benefits of yoga combining my dance background so i put some music sometimes just to make it them feel more uh, comfortable with this discipline and the I can tell you that the union of yoga and dance appears like a novel approach of to assist people with living a healthy lifestyle because the music help them to to connect with the subtle subtle um, um, energies. Energies, yes, exactly. So um, I saw even like um, a student. Uh, of mine for example so um, he was uh, very concerned about the other people um, passing by our us while we were doing a yoga class so he was not uh, like working deep inside I can tell that don't be afraid of other people judging you while you're doing yoga with me just uh, uh, get out from the space you are living and get be in the into, moment. Yes, by the way. you're saying be in the moment now. Exactly. Of... Get inside yourself. Get inside yourself. Don't don't think about anything and anyone. Just think about yourself. That's all, all matters in that yeah, exactly. moment. And also... you have you pay for the class, so you just. You are just paying to be in a moment for a little space on your day. Just stay there, be there, and then you can run and then go. But I mean, what what's the matter to to go in a class and then concerning about other people? Yeah, no, but that's that's a problem. Yeah. <clears throat> Many people yeah. have. Yeah, in and the west, in the west, it's I face that problem. More but, in the uh, west than in India. That's very interesting. Oh, yeah. I like I like, yeah. I like to hear that. Yeah. And uh, for example, you were saying the yoga was very good, uh, is very good against like if people are depressed, if people, you know, the people that go to the psychotherapist or therapist to get, you know, prescription drugs, which can be Prozac or whatever the hell. Oh, they do, yes. Microbial, uh, I'm the hell. so pissed Huffers, off. Drugs, basically legalized yeah, drugs. Exactly. I'm so pissed off with doctors giving, you know, drugs instead of uh, advising people to... to go and run out, uh, go and play with your friends or please do some yoga. It's meditate, uh, do sports. Meditate, meditation, yes. Uh, you froze a little bit. There you are. Yeah, instead of taking the easy way out. <clears throat> and in fact, I, I know, especially in the United States, a lot of people, <laughs> too many people take prescription drugs. And again, we are talking about legalized drug dealers, which are not that different from the criminal drug dealers. Only they don't kill people because they can do it legally, basically. Oh, <clears throat> but the amount of money going around is kind of the same. And the damage that these legalized drugs like Prozac, all the antidepressant and everything do to the human body, human brain the brain chemistry and you can find the tons of uh, studies and materials out there in the internet i'm not a doctor she's not a doctor but you can read you can find for yourself i'm always a big fan of research search ask really research for yourself in the internet many never one source many sources a but academic world like university study the damage of prescription drugs <laughs> especially because in this country they took like the happy pill too easily. So happy pill and then they go out. So one thing with prescription drugs that doesn't even really happen with the other non-legal, like illegal drugs, is never mix it with alcohol. <clears throat> like you can take yeah. ecstasy, MDMA and alcohol, it's not good. But it, it, and again, watch out, don't do it. But it won't be like a long lasting damage. Depends, eh? 
it can be. Um, but <clears throat> if you take prescription drugs and alcohol, and I saw people, I saw I, I, I worked in the restaurants in the bars for years in New York City, and night you see with stuff. And people go crazy. People go totally crazy. Then they black out. They don't remember what they're doing. They scream. They whatever. They or they do I don't know weird things, things that then they will regret weird. the next day for sure. Especially if they can can see yeah. themselves in video, or they get even more depressed. Then they have this up and down because you know. So my question is, how are these prescription drugs antidepressants so good? And the lasting damage in the brain synapses in the brain, like chemistry, is long and it can change your personality. And you don't get clearly easily away from that, especially because it becomes an addiction. Yeah, so exactly. I, I hate that's the that point. These doctors uh, that only graduate in university, which again doesn't take uh, a lot, yeah. gives pills like that. And again, I did university here. And I did psychology classes. I saw some classmates. I was praying to God they would never become therapists because they were superficial. They're oh, only to take oh. you know, the degree, totally messed up lives. And I was like, how can you be a good therapist or a good healer if your life is a freaking mess? Or if yeah. you're already in college, like to take pills or whatever drugs you're taking yeah. or alcohol. How, how, how can, can you, you help others? How can you help others? So, Exactly. If you're not you balanced. Balance. Yes, if you're not balanced, exactly. I believe yes. you have to surround yourself with people who have, yes, great aspirations to help others. Really, not... Uh, yeah, real healers, like not they do it for the money. They do it because they, they have to pay back the master degree that was uh, $200,000 in the United States. So they want that job. And again, pre, uh, pharmaceuticals give money to the doctors. They give prices or travels to Hawaii if you sell a certain amount of pills. So, of course, they're going to push. It's all a money-making thing. Instead, practices like yoga or any other practices that is more holistic or whatever, in the case that you can do it, it's more healing. Again, yeah. we're not saying that if you have AIDS or any viral infection, you don't have to take pills. That's different. You have to take antibiotics. I'll take antibiotics. You have to take chemicals sometimes to cure something, uh, illnesses, infections. But we're talking about mental, emotional balance or tons of people are just frustrated, unhappy, depressed, which is life because life is yeah. hard sometimes. And then they go to the happy pills. And I don't see these people going better because I have friends that do it. They become addicts. They keep getting prescription drugs and they're not better. Their life is a mess even more than two years ago when they started taking yeah. prescription drugs. Yeah. So I always say... Apples, addictions. Yeah. Addictions. And but also, again, yeah. if that's... Where's the result? Like, again, I said, Jesus said, you see the, 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 the tree. So what you're doing the source of what you're doing, the advice of what you, the action you're taking from the fruits. So you see if it's a good tree, if the fruit is good. So if the aftermath, the aftermath of these people that I know that take prescription drugs over prescription drugs are terrible. They are still mm -hmm. suicidal. They are still depressed. They don't do anything. They go, oh. and so the tree is bad. That's the fruit. The tree is rotten. So change the tree. Stop going to that therapist. Stop mm -hmm. doing what you're doing. If you keep doing what you've done, you're doing you always get what you got so maybe change you never try you're depressed you never try yoga maybe try it try something different maybe even if you're skeptical and maybe then you find healing yes holistic healing is i found i found it very very good and i believe that anyone can have a phenomenal life if they'll deeply value learning and focus intently on their mindset, habits, people, environment, be surrounded with positive people and... But watch out, not only positive people, you mean balance, because positive people, is all, everything is always good, which is not true. People that yeah. know what to do in adversities, or people, you had a lot of adversities in your life, Alessia. You had a lot of suffering. Oh, you yeah. You worked on yourself and you work oh, yeah. the practice of yoga oh, to yes. get to the point you are now. You're not a positive person yeah. because you're positive. Like No, no, no. I found uh, really helpful yoga. I applied uh, my knowledge to myself and it worked perfectly. So yeah, you, why you've not been well. other people? Yes, yes. I um, The last year I, I had some... Um, 
yes, uh, you know, downs in life. Life is about ups and downs. So it's okay. I had some downs and I was uh, thinking, well, I should now put all w- what I know about yoga meditation, this traditional and old practice. I, I should take it and I say, okay, let's apply it. And in the end, it it worked it worked so um i really um i i, I really would love to uh, empower people to take care of themselves uh, through yoga because you can unblock not only your potential but you can um, you can heal yourself because um, it's it's not about you know um you you're sick okay let's just take a pill no everything started from your mind so and yeah. before you before when when the fake recording we did i like what you say you were talking about like pain for example the yoga can help you move because it's all energetic practice like if you have pain yes. here yeah exactly what what i teach uh, if for example, you you are doing a pose during my yoga class and you feel a little bit of pain on your shoulder. So when I come to you to adjust your pose, I always remind you to, all right, you have pain here. It's okay. Feel the pain. Feel it through your breath. Then accept the pain. It's your pain, okay? Feel your joints working accept the pain and then release the pain release and you can see you 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 are on your journey you are discovering your body you are discovering your limits your potentials it's a journey but not physical you will not move from new york back to treviso no way it's um uh, inside journey which our bodies our is like a universe like you know right so it's amazing it's amazing you connect you you connect yourself through the breath and if i would have not um, uh, learned about yoga probably i would not uh, become aware about how much powerful and how much important is awareness and breathing and breathing and when you know how to breathe oh your life is amazing you can uh, you can achieve your goals you can feel better and it's so true and i a lot of shamans again a lot of practice uh, the person that helped me heal at, at the end of the night is when i was sick and I did all holistic healing, well, alternative cures. It's not really holistic only, but I did a, a very strong diet. But one of the things that he told me straight away was a breathing technique, which is, the, again, oh, I don't oh, know if I'll yeah. find it because it's in Italy and God knows when I go back there and put everything in order. But I'll try to find this lady, a Russian lady, <clears throat> we're talking about 20 years ago that I had this manual, and yeah. she developed a technique of breathing. Probably she also studied yoga, who knows? But it was a technique yeah. to heal from a lot of ailments, from a lot of illness, physical or mental, like uh, psychological, emotional illness, that, and actually yeah. really worked. So what you're saying about healing is great. A lot of shamans heals also through, he, uh, through breathing techniques or teach breathing techniques uh, to create also a personal like journey, like you say, of, of healing yeah. and be cured. And I love that. I love that. As you well know, I always try to get first healing from, except again, I'll take pills, I'll take antibiotics, I'll take everything I need. I go to the hospital with regular Western doctors. But I also like, especially because I had my emotions ups and down in life, and shamans always helped me because it wasn't more really physical. But every time I had a problem, emotional or psychological, instead of going to Western therapies and i know there's great them like dr w wayne w dyer is a great person mm. uh ram das but he wasn't a really doctor but he was yeah a psychologist actually ram das great psychologist and great person so they, they are they are great mm-hmm. western doctors mm-hmm. too i'm not saying no but me personally i like to go more to shamans curanderos healers all right they all maybe we're gonna talk about 
Yeah, kind of yeah. more like Jodorowsky style, Castaneda, Alejandro Jodorowsky style, mm-hmm. stuff like that. And they really helped me and they helped me with healing. And one thing that I say to give also like really another point of view, why, for example, doing yoga or going to, again, you're a healer. You're a personal kind of healer. You don't have maybe a Western degree to say, okay, I'm a psychologist, I'm a doctor, I'm a therapist, but you are still a healer. And there are many like that. Because one of these shamans years ago told me that one of the best advice that I've, I've ever been given in my life, like, what do you want in life? What's your problem? Like, what's your like goal? Having a happy, happy family life or finding a couple, like people that yeah. are single forever, they keep going from partner to partner to, to, to yeah. jump from story to story. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or be successful in business, make a lot of money in my own business. Okay. So where you go? See, <laughs> either if it's a friend, a neighbor, your, your cousin, or if someone you pay, so a psychotherapist and accept with a degree, multiple degrees, psychologist or whatever, therapist, see what how they're doing. Like, is this person having a happy married life with kids and everything? That's what you want? Ask them advice. If the person is a single, convinced single, happy to be alone and everything, maybe you don't ask them. Even if they are the best degree and they have a doctorate in psychology, maybe you don't ask them about love or about a family, happy life. That's the same for me goes to priests. How can tons of priests give family advices if especially Catholic priests don't have a family? doesn't make any mm-hmm. sense. If you want money, business, you don't come to me because I'm still like understanding what to do in life. You go to someone that has his own business, that is successful, that makes tons of money, whatever, exactly. so you ask them. And you don't mm-hmm. listen to my advice because honestly, it's only my opinion, but what do mm-hmm. I have about it? And that's a grace. So again, you are a balanced person. You overcome your difficulties, uh, Valencia. So maybe someone is having the problem you had or whatever in life, they can come to you. And you are a healer in this way. And yoga, your practice is a healing practice. Exactly. One has to see these kind of things to go and look for advices. And then maybe you skip all the others or you don't listen to all the other people that talk, talk, talk. Mm Because friends love to talk, 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 say opinion. But again, how how, how valuable are those opinions for what you really need to to go and feel better in life. So you are a professional in this case. Thank you, thank you, thank you. (laughs) A yoga teacher can do wonders. I I am on my journey. I still have to learn. I'm practicing, and uh, actually, um, uh, this year uh, I have the project to to go and do another teacher training course. So I will become a little bit more specialized, and I can't look. I can't wait for it. And uh, where? Um, I w- will be back in Southeast Asia. Great. I'm not sure exactly what school, but um, I will go to India, yes, again. And um, but in the meantime, I'm developing my myself, and uh, I yes, I'm looking forward to to share with you all That's the great. benefits of my Perfect. knowledge. <laughs> and we right. will do much more videos about even many more things. Thank yes. you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. We say namaste. Namaste. <laughs> okay, Nicole. Okay. Yes. I'll take care and uh, stay well. Okay. Perfect. Stay and practice safe. yoga. Yes, always. <laughs> and meditate. Bye-bye. So.